I don't, I don't like looking out the window. <sighs> what the? Yeah, dude. I just got a new car, the Tesla Model Y, and I'm gonna live in it for the next week. I'm driving to Las Vegas tonight, so I'm gonna start off by making my bed. Bed's made, I'm ready to go, and I'm all on my own. No more Jeremy. <laughs> Wish me luck. Later, dog. <laughs> I am a bad driver. When I made up that bed and drove off, I had no idea what I was actually about to get into. So here we are in Barstow, California. They call it a supercharger for a reason, man. This thing's gonna be 100% fucking charged in 15 minutes. If you happen to be one of the 10 million people who saw the humiliating video I made about my fake teeth, then you know how important flossing is to me. Well, I don't just floss. This thing blasts all the shit out from your teeth. I use a water pick and floss, and then I brush, and then I use a tongue scraper. To get far back enough to really clean your tongue, you gotta gag. I go to great lengths to preserve what little remains of my own mouth. <laughs> We're in camping mode. Night, everybody. Good morning, dudes. Time to meditate and then start my day okay pretty sick <sighs> off to Las Vegas Las Vegas is like New York City not a place I think I could live but man do I love going there I started thinking, I gotta park my car and sleep somewhere in Vegas that's nuts. I'm thinking the 50 yard line of the Las Vegas Raiders football field, in front of the Bellagio Hotel, the Caesars Palace Fountains, but they're not gonna let me sleep there. I was like, what can I actually get away with? And I thought, if we can find a crane operator to hang my car 100 feet in the air, then we could do that anywhere. But Lux did not love the idea. Yeah, it's super mellow. It's opposite of super mellow, actually. <laughs> I love your reaction. You're telling me it's rad. <laughs> After that call with Lux, I was so excited about this crane idea, I couldn't stand it. But I had to go to the news to promote my big Vegas show. Now I'm going to the news, and I'm not going to tell them anything. Overnight sleeping, like suspended 100 feet yeah. in the air from a crane. That's or, crazy. I might have been too excited about the crane idea because I carelessly bashed my car into a curb. And that doesn't sound good. Fuck, I'm just not a good driver. I didn't even have this car for one week. But luckily, the good people from Tesla zipped on over and fixed it, and off I went to go meet a friend. Yeah, what's up, man? This is Steve-O. Morning, I'm here to see Dana. Right on the cover, dude. Dana White, man. Thank you. My bro. man. <laughs> Steve-O's hot sauce for your butthole is a fucking real winner, dude. Steve-O's butthole destroyer. Steve-O's butt wipes for your butthole. <laughs> now here's where it starts to get really crazy. I didn't know where I was going to do this crane stunt. So while I was with Dana, I asked him what he thought about me doing it at the UFC headquarters. And he says, let's go. We'll get it straight. Dude, I uh, did unbelievable. So now it's fucking on. My whole team's working on this, and they've already found a crane operator who's gonna meet me at the steel place. Yeah, Lon. Yeah. How's, <laughs> How's it going, going dude? Oh man. <laughs> These have a battery. There's no motor, right? Right. So where's the battery? Oh, I don't know. So once again, I called my new buddies at Tesla. Make sure that your rail's not coming into contact with the HV battery pack, because that could be catastrophic. Oh, oh. wow. <laughs> Good thing we called him. Yes, it is. <laughs> once those minor details were sorted out, the wheels were in motion. And after a day like that, I couldn't sleep. So I had to get some exercise. Did I mention that I have a 
bicycle in here too. I was barely riding my bike for 10 minutes when there was all this commotion. I look over and there's this mob of bicycle dudes doing wheelies like it was insane. We're going for a bike ride. That was the coolest shit ever, but I had to get some sleep because the next day was the big crane stunt. So I went into this pay parking lot. Be ready for a shower tomorrow. I wake up, meditate, and head back to the UFC where they're welding this crazy frame. My tour bus is waiting for me, as well as this totally bitchin' crane. It's on. You would imagine that lifting a car with a crane was pretty simple, but it took all day before we were ready. We're gonna make it right, we're gonna make it strong and safe. It already broke. And then right when we're ready to go, the cops show up. And what they told me shocked me. For all my years of doing fucked up shit, I have never had cops show up and ask, where do you want me? Where do you want me? What do you want me to do? <laughs> legend, legend, bro. <laughs> all right, it's go time. Even though everything was done professionally, it was so creepy going up. My heart's kind of going a little quick. <laughs> and nobody told me that when I reached the top, that it was going to jolt. Like the whole thing shook. I'm like, I don't like looking at the top. <sighs> what the? I didn't like it either. It was the scariest moment ever. Don't move the car. Barely unzip your pants if you need to be. And just, just sleep sitting up. I promised Lux I would be safe and then opened up the car door to try to light this fire fountain that I taped to the bottom of the steel frame. But remember, this is YouTube. I had a harness with a safety line and it was a legal firework but I just couldn't get it to light for nothing. So I ripped it off, lit the fuse, and threw it out of the car, and then tried to extinguish it by peeing on it. And that was cool. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> well, that was exciting. <laughs> Standing on top of the car. I just took some killer selfies. It's totally fucking bouncing again. I broke the roof again. I don't know what else there is to do. I think I'm gonna go to bed. I'm not gonna try and tell you I slept very well because I didn't. The car was swinging all night. It got very hot when the sun came up, but man, it was a great morning. When they lowered me down, there was a little crowd waiting for me. And among those people was Lux, who flew in to be there. And when I hugged and kissed Lux, I smelled so bad, it was ridiculous. But I didn't have time to shower. We had to go watch the fights. From the UFC Apex here in Las Vegas, Nevada, this is the main event of the evening! And as always, we had a blast at the fights. Thank you, Dana White. My show in Vegas was also a huge success. Thank you, Vegas. Now, as much fun as it was for me to live in my car this past week, there are a lot of people who have no choice. So I'm raising money to help homeless people in Las Vegas, specifically for Habitat for Humanity Las Vegas by selling these killer 8x10s of me standing on that car. I'm signing 1,000 of them. 
and selling them at stevo.com. 100% of the proceeds go to Habitat for Humanity Las Vegas. And if we sell a thousand of these at 25 bucks a piece, that's 25,000 plus I'm gonna match it. So we will donate $50,000 to Habitat for Humanity Las Vegas if you guys buy all of these prints. So hurry up and get to stevo.com to get yours now.